Let's list off five burning questions ahead of the Giants training camp. Starting us off, how much of an upgrade is Brian Dable over Joe Judge? One of the reasons there's optimism surrounding the New York Giants is due to the innovative offensive mindset of head coach Brian Dable. During his tenure as the Buffalo Bills offensive coordinator, he helped Josh Allen become one of the best quarterbacks in the league and turn the Bills into a high-powered offense. But being a good coordinator doesn't always translate into being a good head coach. We'll have to see how Dable does with his in-game adjustments, clock management, and how he's able to lead his team. He could be the next bright head coach, or he could be the same caliber coach as his predecessor Joe Judge was. Time will tell. Up next, how much better is the offensive line? As everyone knows, New York has had one of the worst offensive lines for many years. To his credit, new general manager Joe Shane spent the offseason rebuilding the offensive line with limited resources. On paper, this is the best offensive line the Giants have had in years, but we won't know how much of an upgrade the line is until the season starts. Up next, can Dable and Mike Kafka bring out the best Daniel Jones? This is a make or break season for Daniel Jones. The team already declined to exercise his fifth year option and they brought in a capable backup quarterback in Tyrod Taylor. On top of that, there have been rumors that the Giants are interested in trading for 49ers QB Jimmy Garoppolo. However, Dable and offensive coordinator Mike Kafka have expressed their confidence in Jones and want him to play without restrictions. In the new Giants offense, expect to see more pre-snap movement and a scoring attack that plays with more tempo. This will make New York's offense less predictable than in years past and more explosive. This should maximize Jones' potential as an NFL quarterback. Up next, can Adore Jackson be a number one corner? The biggest loss Big Blue encountered this offseason was having to cut Pro Bowl cornerback James Bradbury in a salary cap saving move. With the departure of Bradbury, six-year cornerback Adoree Jackson is now inserted as the team's number one corner. In defensive coordinator Don Wink Martindale's scheme, the Giants will play more man-to-man -man defense often. With New York thin at cornerback, Jackson must not only hold his own against opposing team's number one receiver, but they'll need him to do something he hasn't done since 2018, which is to play a full season. And finally, is Kayvon Thibodeau the next great defensive player? Some felt that Kayvon Thibodeau was the best pass rusher in this year's draft. Now the expectation is for him to perform like some of the talented rookies that have come into the league in recent years, such as Nick Bosa and Chase Young, and be a candidate for Defensive Rookie of the Year. An elite pass rusher can make an immediate impact and change a team's identity. If Thibodeau is in the discussion for Defensive Rookie of the Year, New York's defense will be vastly improved.